This assignment really got me to challenge and understand what it is that I constantly found in reassuring scriptures and different interpretations of overcoming challenges that also seem to impact my creative technique and approach. I guess it, uh, it boils down to questioning what stimulates me. Just the background, I got my first Bible for my church confirmation when I was 15 and was told that it would always guide me. Around the time, we, we had to choose subjects at school that we would be doing from grade 10 until 12. I was lost. What I did know was that any choice that I would make, I had faith that it was going to take me far because I had faith in my mindset that were influenced by this book. I had no regard for pure pressure. I was in fact one of four black learners that had to be taught in Afrikaans because we couldn't add up to make an English class in the stream that we took. The values that I take from this book are those that you get as a creative when you're challenged in um, special hierarchy of different demographics and its integration in an urban space and also sentiment and a deeper understanding of context as well as ethics in the respect for detail and aesthetics. It's generally about the mindset my book puts me in that makes it possible for me to begin in a task or idea and persevere in it, usually the subconscious stimuli. I like that most of our architecture today is derived from architects discovering architecture through complexities of designing for religion and belief. I recommend this book to architects to have a better perspective in designing. Um, I thank you.